Before we begin, this video is focused mainly on the MLS franchise, but first, let's travel back to 1974. Seattle was awarded an NASL North American Soccer League team and the fans voted to name the team Seattle Sounders with the Mariners in second place ended up being the baseball team. These Sounders played until the NASL folded in 1985. Fast forward to 2009 and Seattle was awarded an MLS franchise in 2008 on their second try. How they got to become the Sounders though was a little different. The fans still voted but the owners had three ready-made names, Seattle FC, Seattle Alliance, and Seattle Republic. If it weren't for a write-in option, this would probably be about Seattle FC, but in the end, Seattle Sanders FC won with about 50% of the vote. Now let's talk about actual gameplay. The Sanders selected Steve Zakuani with the first overall pick in the Super Draft. With the first pick of the first round of the 2009 MLS Super Draft, Seattle Sounders FC select from the University of Akron forward and member of Generation Adidas, Steve Zakoani. And hired Siggy Schmidt, who led the Sounders to seven straight postseason appearances. They did surprisingly well in 2009, going 12, 7, and 11, and making the playoffs, though they lost in the first round. In 2010 and 2011, they also made the playoffs surprisingly for an expansion team but still couldn't make it past the first round. Their best competition wasn't during this span though, winning three US Open Cups, a North American soccer competition in a row which no MLS team has ever done. Their first shot at an MLS title was in 2016. They struggled early going to ninth in the table, but they came back and made the playoffs for what was the seventh year in a row and made it to the MLS Cup against Toronto. In Toronto, the game was scoreless after 120 minutes as both teams couldn't get a shot in. It went to penalty kicks where Roman Torres hit the game winner to give the Sounders their first MLS Cup. This foot to win MLS Cup for Seattle, which he has done! The Seattle Sounders have done it! Then they proved that their winning season wasn't a fluke by going back to the MLS Cup and facing Toronto again. Going 14-9-11, they strolled through the playoffs being Vancouver 2-0 and then Houston on aggregate 5-0. The MLS Cup was again played in Toronto, but this time Toronto won, having possession of the ball for most of the match, winning 2-0. But we are not done playing Toronto in the MLS Cup yet. After losing to Portland in the first round in 2018, we have another Seattle vs. Toronto matchup in 2019. Seattle hosts its first MLS Cup and this one was a beatdown. After 8 missed shots in the first half, Kelvin Leerdam scores the first one in the 57th minute. Victor Rodriguez and Raul Rui Diaz score 2 more in the 76th and 90th respectively. Toronto puts in a late goal in the 93rd but it was already over. With the largest crowd for a sporting event in CenturyLink Field at the time, 69,190 fans, including me, watched the Sounders win its second MLS Cup 3-1. Our last and latest championship was this year and received more global attention than all of our previous championships, even before the MLS combined. The 2022 CONCACAF Champions League, pitting the best teams from Canada, Mexico, and the US. Before the Sanders won, no MLS team has won the modern version of the league that started 20 years ago. So with a chance to break history, the Sounders took it. They scored five goals in the second leg against Montagua after a 0-0 first leg. Then they faced Club Leon winning 3-0 in leg one and drawing 1-1 in leg two. Then they beat New York City FC 3-0 in leg one and 1-1 in leg two. The Sounders were never behind at any point of these six games and were favored against their final opponent, Pumas. But in leg one, disaster struck. 48 minutes into the game, the Sounders were down 2-0 in Mexico. Uh, Juan Dino scoring both. Not looking good for the Sounders as time ticked by. Suddenly, Pumas player Sebastian Sacedo handballs in the penalty area. Nicholas Ladero proceeds to kick the penalty kick to make it 2-1. As the game was about to end though, Pumas fouls again in the penalty area and Ladero is able to kick another one to go to leg 2, 2-2. Two, two, two. 
we head to what was a championship game in Seattle as whoever won this one would go to the FIFA World Cup. The game was physical, Pumas found lean 11 times in 45 minutes and the Sounders had to sub out two players due to injury. But just before halftime, Raul Ruidia scores a goal causing one of three earthquakes by Sounders fans that day. Rui Diaz scores his second of the day, and then Ladero scores the third one to seal the deal. Stefan Fry wins best goalkeeper and best player of the tournament. Seven Sounders make the CCL best 11. Overall, a brilliant team in a brilliant stopping by your Seattle Sounders. It took a monstrous team to do it that was slowly growing since 2015. UW product Christian Roldan, Seattle native Jordan Morris, Three goal scorer Raul Rudius joined in 2018. Three goal scorer Freddie Montero that was with the Sanders in the beginning. This core not only won the Champions League, but all of them except Montero won at least one, some even both of the Sanders MLS championships. like watching this history of Seattle FC and to end it all I will end with a tradition. Started before the MLS but passed on by former coach Siggy Schmidt and then passed on today by then assistant now head coach Brian Schmetzer. This tradition involved banging on the lockers and singing jingle bells whenever the Sounders won a road game. I hope you enjoy and before I forget there's one line change. Instead of a one horse open sleigh it's the Sounders win away. Okay.